A Spokane, Washington judge reprimanding a sovereign citizen. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't get much better than this. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Common Sense Academy. I'm your host, Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also, check out my other channel called Joe the Lawyer. The link is in the description below. I know I haven't been making as much content tent contact both neither content nor contact recently but i'm back i'm here to make videos on a regular basis i'm going to do everything i can before we jump in and watch this hilarious video of a spokane washington judge taking it to a sovereign citizen raise your cup your glass in the air cheers with me it tastes better when i when we sip together i like artificial sugar you may like beer liquor tea coffee cheers Now let's enjoy this video. It's not something you'd expect to hear from a judge. Sir, I don't want to hear any of your constitutionalist crap. I mean, just save it for somebody else who's stupid and believes so That it. was the scene in a Spokane County courtroom this week and just one part of a bizarre and dangerous story. The courtroom drama is just one part of the case that actually started with allegations that a man assaulted his teenage daughter. What follows is a tale that includes allegations of kidnapping, a man proclaiming he doesn't need to follow U.S. law and who prosecutors say threatened that a Spokane family be executed for treason. Melissa Luck walks us through the case in this 4 News Now exclusive. She is uh, alleged to be an accessory for kidnapping, a significant charge. Most first court appearances look and sound like this, but nothing else about Howard Patton's court appearance yesterday was typical. It starts with criminal charges against another man, Daniil Bagmet. Police say he assaulted his teenage daughter last September. With those charges pending, the state placed the girl with another Russian family for her safety. That's when Howard Patton enters the picture. Police say last week Patton showed up at the foster family's home claiming to be an attorney. He handed them documents that said they needed to return the child to her parents. And if they didn't, they would be arrested, deported out of the country. All of their assets would be confiscated. Your charade is over, he wrote. If you return, you could be executed by firing squad for high treason. Fearing for their safety, the foster parents handed over the child. And by the time the state figured out she was gone, police were able to find her and arrest Padden and also her biological parents on kidnapping charges. And that's when things took an even more bizarre turn. When Patton made an appearance this week at the Spokane County Courthouse, he immediately indicated his belief that he wasn't a U.S. citizen and isn't subject to U.S. law. But Court Commissioner John Stein wasn't having it. Listen. Is this the Howard Patton trust you're talking about? I'm appearing as a living man. Sir, I don't want to hear any of your constitutionalist crap. I mean, just save it for somebody else who's stupid and believes in that. Without his cooperation in the proceedings, Stein appointed Patton a public defender who tried to poke holes in the charges. We don't have firing squads. This is not something that is going to happen. And there were no direct threats made other than what was in this paperwork, which uh, very clearly Again, it's not something that occurs in the United States. But Stein contends this family is from Russia and may not be familiar with how U.S. law works. Prosecutors revealed Patton already faces a litany of charges for pretending to make and enforce his own laws. Mr. Patton, who uh, claims to be the de jure chief justice of the state Supreme Court. Patton faces 32 counts of intimidating a public servant in Stevens County. In that case, he's accused of threatening the county treasurer because he didn't believe in paying his taxes. He sent this fake foreclosure document to her and 31 other county and state officials, including Governor Inslee. In it, Padden says they have 30 days to hand over their property, and if they don't, they will be tracked down by bounty hunters. Padden is now booked on those charges and faces these new kidnapping charges in Spokane County. Whether he believes in the U.S. legal system or not, he's now very much a part of its process. I'm Melissa Luck, 4 News Now. So tell me, everybody, what was your favorite part of this video? Was it the DA smiling as the judge took it to this sovereign citizen? Was it the judge's statements when he stated to save the crap for somebody 
who is stupid, or was it the sovereign citizen statements himself when he spoke about being a sovereign person and being a trust? And boy, it sounded like some of our favorite sovereign citizens talking about, I'm not the individual, I'm not the human, I am just the representative, I'm here in trust. This guy had it down, but it looks like he's going to be spending probably a significant amount of time in jail. Not only did he engage in a kidnapping scheme where I'm sure he scared the crap out of a family, uh, took this girl, put her back into a family that she wasn't supposed to be with, but... Uh, he also committed paper terrorism by sending fake foreclosure letters to individuals within the justice system. And who was that? This a senator, a governor is in the Inslee, a senator or governor himself. He's just racking it up. Remember, we've seen in the past few years courts and judges getting losing patience with this type of paper terrorism, uh, handing out hefty hefty jail and prison sentences for individuals who do this type of stuff. If he is smart, he will pick up my book on sovereign citizens. He will read it. He will deprogram himself and he will beg for mercy when he goes before a judge to get sentenced for kidnapping and paper terrorism because he is looking at significant jail time. I have to give his public defender some credit, number one, for putting up with the BS, and number two, for trying to deprogram him at least a bit, a little bit Boy, you have to do that just to get through the darn hearing. But one thing that won't come out of my mind is the smiling face <laughs> of the prosecutor. Man, this sovereign citizen stuff just does not go away. But like the news reporter said at the end, uh, he's about to get a taste of American justice, whether he wanted to or not, and I doubt it's going to be kind to him. Thank you everybody for tuning in to Common Sense Academy. I'm your host, Joe Pimento, Joe the Lawyer. Check out my other channel, Joe the Lawyer, to get legal analysis on non-sovereign citizen, non-auditor topics. All right. Love you guys. Bye-bye.